guys, I'm back. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great, safe, fun, drunken, sober, New Year's kiss, no New Year's kiss. Did you eat your grapes under a table? I didn't. So maybe next year. I thought it would be fun to try a different series each month. So for the month of January, I would like to do different makeup looks that have been posted by different influencers on social media. For this week, we are going to be doing... Bryn Marie, you can find her on Instagram at, at Bryn Marie, tagged below. She did this beautiful, stunning, magnificent makeup look that she saw by a different creator, and I forgot to get her name, so sorry about that. Bryn posted her kind of version of this red wine eyeshadow look, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. It's so perfect for like a sexy night out or drinks uh, first date, okay? If we're dating this New Year's. Let's try it out and see if a normal person can create this look and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> so let's get into it. For today's look, I'm gonna be going in with the Tease the Season palette by Morphe. It's a really beautiful palette. It has a bunch of different reds, golds, neutrals, a little bit of blues and grays going on. But for today's look, we're gonna be just using like a semi-dark brown, but with a tint of a red in it, since it is a red wine look. So I'm gonna probably be going in with, with this undisclosure color right here. It's a nice like brown, but there's a little hint of red in it. So I think it would be really pretty on the lid. So basically we're just gonna be picking this up with a blending brush and going in for today's look i am going to be using a technique where i just kind of throw the eyeshadow on anywhere not anywhere but like i'm just going to throw the eyeshadow on and bring it out kind of messy because i'm gonna use a makeup wipe to really sharpen things up after the eyeshadow's on this is just like a really good beginner easy way to do eyeshadow if it's not really your jam because i know that eyeshadow can be like so intimidating for some people but i promise you that if you just i don't have a base on or anything because we're going to be cleaning this up and whatnot but if you just throw this on and like don't care too much about what's going on out here. We'll clean it up and it will look pretty and it's a super easy beginner way to do eyeshadow. So I am just gonna take this color, put it all over my lid and really buff it out. Girl, you know I like buffing it out way out here. You know what I mean? I did forget to mention that I did have my eyelids primed already with concealer from doing my brows earlier. So definitely make sure you're priming your lids because this will help your makeup last all day. You don't necessarily need like an eye primer or whatever. I think it's a waste of money when you just have concealer and it does the same exact thing. Now that I have like a good base working, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's the Love Morphe color. It's like a red burgundy. I don't know colors, okay? I don't know, it's, it's a red color. You can see it with your eyes. Just like a smaller, fluffier brush, I'm gonna pick this up and we're just gonna throw this in the middle. It's a really gorgeous, dark, what? I gotta learn my colors, guys, because I just don't know. The Leaf Blower Man is back, y'all. I swear. I waited an hour after I did my intro to do this because he was just out there living his best life. And he's back. I swear. He has cameras in my house or something. He wants to sabotage me. He's sabotaging my life. There's no like gradients or anything in this look. It's just kind of all smoked and blended together. So take your time and just blend all these colors together it's making my eyes super green so i like that okay so now that i'm all like smoked out on my eyes i am gonna do my trick that i always do and take a big fluffy brush and a cream colored or a neutral color that's more of on like the white side or something close to your skin tone for me i just take any eyeshadow palette and use their lightest color which is gonna be this one it's a nice cream color and i just pick this up and go right along the top part of your eyeshadow and this just really softens up any harsh lines to make it blend way better this is also a good trick if you're new to eyeshadow because it helps you kind of just maintain like not such a blocky or harsh lined eyeshadow look just blend this out make it real nice and blended can you see the difference here like this is kind of really sharp this is nice and like blended and nice i'm gonna take a small like smudge brush 
and I'm gonna be taking this dark brown color here this one is the take the reins color and I'm gonna pick this up with my smudge brush and just kind of darken up this lash line a bit and drag it out ever so slightly almost like you would a wing like you want to drag it out just ever so slightly it doesn't have to be perfect remember because we're gonna go clean this up later but I am just darkening up lash line and dragging this out almost like a little smoked wing going on i'm gonna go in with the urban decay um glide on eye pencil in black and i am just gonna tight line my eyes and what that means is going underneath your lash line here that probably looks so creepy but you get what i mean just with a makeup wipe around my finger and just sharpen this out everyone's face is different so i can't really tell you like an angle or anything to go at just do it where you like it on your face that just made it super sharp same with the other side and what i like to do is just take my blending brush and just blend this out just a little bit more because i'm seeing that it's a little bit harsh there or not harsh like blotchy and if my dog could stop tapping around with his little rat claws downstairs, that'd be great. Just kidding, I love him so much. Leave him alone. So because I'm not feeling great today and I really don't have any plans besides packing up my house a little bit, I am going to keep my base super simple. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. primer and I'm going in with a pump and a half of this and rubbing it everywhere until it gets tacky. For my base today, I am just going to go in with the rest of my Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue because I want to just get this out of my makeup bag because it's just, it's dying. It's dying on me. She's almost out. If you don't like foundation and you just like something light on your skin, I highly suggest looking into the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It really is nice on the skin. Um, I have noticed that if you have drier skin, it can get patchy on you, so that's just something to be cautious of, but it's a really nice tint on your skin. Then I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer and do underneath my eyes. I am going to do a little bit of more of this just because I am not using foundation. Buff this into my skin really nice, tapping. Sometimes you don't always need a beauty blender. You can just use your finger really nice and tap it into the skin. Also with this concealer, I am using my brush and sharpening out underneath that eyeshadow that we did and just make it really sharp and nice. I did like a short two step. Usually I do like a contour and a blush and all that, but girl, I just don't feel like it today. So we're gonna just do it with powder. I'm going in with an LA Girl, LA, I'm going in with an LA Girl setting powder. This is just their translucent color. I used to use their like, um, like yellowy color, but I just found that the translucent one just brightens me up a lot more and I, I like that better. I'm going in with my Hula Beauty um, Beach Vacay Duo Set. This is the contour and the blush in here and I'm just going to take an angled brush for the contour color and go up onto my forehead just blending this out on my cheekbones going in with that blush color in this palette as well I'm just going to add some color into my cheeks here Y'all, the base is my least favorite part of makeup just because it's so repetitive and like boring and everyone does the same thing for the most part, you know? Like it's just, we get it. Okay, we get it. My very old Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This is beautiful. She is definitely expired, but I, girl, listen. She doesn't make me break out. She's pretty. Do not recommend using expired makeup, but <laughs> I'm going to. Okay, y'all, base is on, so we're gonna go back to the eyes. I'm going in with that Urban Decay, the black liner, and I'm just gonna line my eyes in my waterline and make this nice and dark. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going 
in underneath with some shadow and smoking it out. So don't feel like this has to be perfect. I'm going to be going in with that Love Morphe, the reddish color again, and just picking that up. Oops, girl, not even getting the right color. Here we go. I'm just going to smoke this underneath my eye. Look how pretty that is under the eye. Are you kidding? That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. With my bigger fluffier brush, which I used for that first base color on my eye, I'm not going to add any more products, but I am just going to go in and buff this out just to make it really nice. And you guessed it, blended. She puts like this clear gloss on top of her eyeshadow. And I don't know if it's an eyeshadow gloss. Or... Turbo! She goes in with like a gloss on her eyes and on top of all the eyeshadow that makes it like a dewy look. But I don't know if she used like a glossy eyeshadow or like a lip gloss. And I'm gonna be using a lip gloss today. So if we could just have the drama of the fire trucks go by really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking a NYX clear gloss and just so I don't like mess up my gloss here, I'm gonna put gloss on my pinky and we're just gonna rub it on top of our eyeshadow. Oh, shoot. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna add more. Oh, it's in my lashes. Oh, boy. Okay, so careful if you're doing this with your finger because as you can see, I just moved a bunch of product around. Okay, okay, I think I did too much. We're gonna blend this out a little bit. Okay, so don't, don't do too much of this because it moves your shadow around. Okay, but you see what I mean? The eyeshadow will move. Have no fear, I'm gonna fix this with a cream color on top of this. Buff it out a little bit, okay. All right, we're fixing her, we're fixing her. I think if we just keep it to the lid and a little bit out, it'll be a lot better. She does a little bit under the eye as well. I feel like this is so messy, like my hands are a mess. Oh my God, I can't do this. Screw it, I'm just going in with the wand and I'm just gonna dab this under my eye and move it around. See how wet and yummy that is? Wow. Might as well over here, right? Go in and apply. I'm going to go apply mascara. I doubt you want to see me do this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have mascara on, I am just going to wrap up this look. Wrap up this look with some lip because I think it will tie it all together. I see some people talk when they do this. And I honestly just don't know how they function. Like, bitch, I can't even breathe when I'm doing this. Then I'm gonna go in with the NYX gloss, the butter gloss in brownie dip and add this on. Oh my God, it smells like brownies. Okay guys, this is the final look. Overall, I do really like it. I kept it without a lash today just to keep it kind of like, I don't know, kind of simple. If you don't want to pop on a lash, I feel like I have a lash on in every video. So this is just a nice look without one. Maybe if I had my hair done, I'd feel a lot better, but oh well. <coughs> this is really pretty. I really like the eyeshadow, how it's like glowy and like dewy wet looking. I really do like that. Overall, I'm going to give it a six out of 10 because it is a little messy. Um, it kind of moves the shadows around on your eyes, but maybe that's just the way that I was applying it and doing it with a freaking lip gloss but whatever girl and the lip i might mix up the lip maybe i like it though if you like this video please give it a like below subscribe to my channel because i will be posting one video every week for the rest of this year if i can hopefully i can but that's the goal so next week we will be doing another inspired makeup look by miss michaela herself okay nice and sharp so I will see you all next week and thank you so much for watching. I love you.